of smuggling drugs and aliens. So in protest, we're making a session from the Union today. We're going to become the concrete public. But first, I want to say that we're a tired of the country being ignored by the state and by our senators and congressmen because we have so few votes. And that's about to change because as a new nation, the Conk Republic, we will have 100% of the votes. We were once the richest town in, in south of Savannah. Now we're just the highest tax, highest living expenses, highest on the list of towns to be ignored by the politicians in Washington. Still are. <laughs> this, this city has had more ups and downs in the past 160 years than any part of the United States. We've gone through the sponge war, the cigar labor riots, the depression, the Navy pullout. Then we had the Marielle boat lift, courtesy of President Carter. And now the road blocked with armed agents of the federal government stopping cars and threatening those who leave the Florida Keys as though they're returning from a foreign country. So, if Key West is a foreign country to Washington, Washington shall represent a foreign nation to Key West. Raise the flag of the Conquer Republic. flag has been raised. We the people of Key West are called conks. Sometimes we're called conks with affection, sometimes with humor, and sometimes with duration. I proclaim that Key West shall now be known as the Conk Republic, and as the flag of our new republic is raised, I thereby state to Washington and the rest of the United States and the world that the conks are and were. When Jamestown, Virginia was settled by the Englishmen and fed up with the arrogance, the duration, the abuse of rights by deposit a king without compassion or sense of humanity. Another group was settling in the Bahamas and they were called conks. They were known as conks because they hoisted flags with the tough hard conch shell indicating they'd rather eat conch than pay the king's taxes and live under tyranny. There is our flag. It's a conch flag. It has a conch on it. We secede from the United States. We've raised our flag given our notice, and named our new government. We serve notice on the government in Washington to remove the roadblock or get ready to put up a permanent border to the foreign land. Here, here. We, yeah. 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 we as people have suffered in the past, but we have no intention of suffering in the future at the hands of fools and fools and bureaucrats. We're not going to babe. We're not going to beseech the nation of the United States for help. We're not going to ask for something we should naturally have as citizens, simply equality. If we are not equal, we'll get out. It's as simple as that. The first step was, like Marielle, up to Washington. This step is up to us. We call upon the other people of the Florida Keys to join us or not as they see fit. We're not fearful people. We're not a group of, to cringe or whine from Washington cracks the whip with content and unconcerned. We're conks and we've had enough. We're happy to secede today with humor, but there is some anger also. Big troubles have started in much smaller places than this. I am calling on all my fellow citizens here in the Conk Republic to stand together, lest we fall apart, fall from fear, from lack of courage, intimidation by an uncaring government, whose action shown it has grown too big to care for the people of a small island. I would like to offer three cheers for our mayor, Dennis Thank Wardlow you. and the Conk Republic. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! background on what happens next and the first thing I want to say is this those of us who live here are eternally grateful to these folks because not every leader in this community and not every member elected politician in this community had the intestinal fortitude to stand up for our rights so please give these people a round of yeah. applause
happened next happened by a gentleman named Joe Bobontine who was homegrown, homespun, and he took no bullshit from anybody. And when he believed in something and he had the conviction, he would stand up to anybody. And a city commissioner. And a city commissioner. So when I was asked to represent him, it was a great honor to me because Joe Bobontine had a big set of uh, uh, intestinal fortitude. <laughs> Let's say that. He had the cojones. We can say that. Okay. So Joe Bobontine appears on the stage and he says, I am ready to declare war. I am ready to take over the territorial waters of the Conk Republic from the United States Navy. And for ammunition, we will use all of the hard Cuban bread we can find and shoot it at them. At that point, the Navy officer jumps aboard and Joe Bobontine goes, we declare war. We fired a shot, and now we're at war with the United States. And then he says, okay, now we surrender. <laughs> that was wonderful. We have read our proclamation seceding. We fired our first volley. We have now surrendered. We are now going to apply for a billion dollars in foreign aid from the United Nations, from the United States. We want our foreign aid. Yes. It's like the mouse that roared. Just like the mouse that roared. Uh, on, on behalf of the United States government and the United States Navy, I accept your surrender. <laughs> And I have absolutely no money to offer you, <laughs> in, in case you don't know, we're broke. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, uh, Peter, and, uh, and the rest of you. Uh, it's been a wonderful time here. It's the, uh, the whole story, if you've never read the entire thing, uh, it's really very, very interesting. Uh, Dennis, I remember came to, when I was here before, I was in a Rotary Club. He came and he gave an entire, about 45 minutes of uh, the entire deal. And it was incredibly interesting, and, uh, and I, I really enjoyed it. And it's a great tradition, and I'm glad you guys have carried it on.